And that was the news. And now, trouble in Ambridge. <laughs> Archers, boring and middle class. Ugh, we hate anything boring and middle class, don't we, my darling boyfriend? Yes, we do. Because we're artists, shocking everyone out of their complaint and... <laughs> expressing our innermost feelings, our naked souls for all the world to see. Don't we, my darling? Yes, we certainly do. So, shall we have a nice cup of tea before we start the plainting? Good idea. <laughs> right, um, so, uh, now then, where are the tea bags? Um, I think we'll find them under the pillow. All right, thank you. Uh, mugs, mm, any idea at all? Uh, they're, they're just there. Where? You're, you're lying on them. All oh, right. <laughs> Uh, milk and sugar. I've, I've, I've no idea, Tracy. Oh, Just... no, there, there they are. Look, there they are. Where? Yeah, there, look, look, roll over. There, by the toaster. Oh. There, look, there. Yes, yes, yes. Tracy, mm. can, I, can I just say this bed? Now, oh, what's that? It's the phone, isn't it? Where? In the bed. Oh, right. Hello? Tracy Emin, please. Speaking. Uh, Sachi Sachi and Sachi here. <laughs> I am Sir Charles Starches Starches, the famous art collector and entrepreneur. Oh, hello, Sir Charles Starches and Starches. <laughs> hello. Now, look here, Tracy, I'll come straight to the point. Yes, please. I need some new art and I need it pronto. New art? Yes, I've completely run out. Right. <laughs> Can you rustle something up, Tracy? Something sensational? <laughs> Yes, I'm sure I can. Um, Good. ASAP, please. Pardon? ASAP, please. Certainly, Sir Charles. <gasps> that was Sir Charles Starchy, and he wants me to do some new artwork. S A A S A P A P P S A S P P Y. Oh no, I can't think of a single thing. What will I do? What will I do? Well, do a do a tent or something. I've done a tent. Do a nice little disturbing painting. Boy. <laughs> How about an erotic quilt? I've done an erotic quilt. <laughs> Do then. No. Uh, oh, God. Got to be something new. A new expression of my whole inner being. What am I going to do? <laughs> Hello? Hello. Who's that? Damien Hurst, yeah? Oh. <laughs> Hello, Tracy. Hello, Damien. So what you up to at the moment? Just come up with something pretty groundbreaking, if you want to know. Oh, really? What's that, then? Cutting a cow in half. <laughs> Good heavens! Visually arresting, morally challenging, but also an expression of my whole inner... Oh, yeah, lovely. Boy, then. <laughs> oh, no! That's a fantastic idea. Why didn't I think of that? Hello. Hello. It's the Chapman brothers here. Oh, hello, the Chapman brothers. Hello. 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 So what you doing then? Hanging body parts in a tree. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, no. Everyone's having fantastic artistic ideas except me. <laughs> oh, who's that now? Gilbert and George here. Oh. <laughs> hello, Gilbert and George. Hello. 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 <laughs> What you doing these days, We're then? We're doing stained glass windows of our own poo. <laughs> Your own poo? Yeah. But that's brilliant. Thank you very much. Bye. <laughs> oh, well, that just takes the biscuit. Stained glass poo. That's an even better idea. I feel all inadequate now. What sort of an artist am I? I can't think of anything. I just want to express the whole of my inner whole inner being and I can't. <laughs> I need a tissue. Get me a tissue, my boyfriend. Right, I'll, 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 I'll have a look in here. Um, there's none in the bathroom. Um, under the couch? No, oh, God. Yeah, I'm in the sink. You know, I don't know. Any ideas at all? You're useless. They're in the bed, aren't they? Sorry? They're in the bed. In the bed? Yes. In the bed. Yes. Right, that's it. Goodbye. What you doing? I'm leaving, Tracy. Leaving? Yes, leaving if you want to know. Leaving you, and in particular, the bed. The bed? What's the matter with the bed? This bed needs tidying and cleaning, Tracy. You leave my bed alone. And if you don't keep tidying and cleaning, Tracy Emin, you will never find a man to care for you and provide for you as men have done, should do, and usually do do. <laughs> heard these words before. They are strangely familiar in an uncanny manner. Goodbye, Tracy. Don't leave me. 
Don't leave me. <gasps> oh, no. He's gone. I've lost him forever. And it's all my fault. Oh. <laughs> I should have been a nicer girlfriend. I should have painted him something nice for his birthday. Instead of all them masturbating ladies. <laughs> And I should have, I should have made the bed. Now I'll never find a man. So everything's meaningless and pointless now, including my art. I might as well chuck it all out the window, all of it, and then myself also. <laughs> right then, I'm going to do it now. <laughs> here it goes. Right, where is it? Where's all my art? Oh, here it is. Right, just drag it over here. Open the window. Right, disturbing paintings out. <laughs> Erotic quilts, all of them out. <laughs> A plique tent with names on it, out. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> and everything else in my bedsit while I'm about it. 32 inch wide screen television. Thank you. Ikea table lamp out. Cooking utensils. Knickknacks and sofa items. Out. <laughs> and last but not least, me. Goodbye. Stop. Tracy Emin. <gasps> Who said that? We did. Who's that speaking, please? It is us. <gasps> but look, I don't believe it. Hundreds and hundreds of ladies in my bedsit, <laughs> all in different costumes of history. What are you all doing here, ladies? And what is your purpose, might I ask? We are the inspirational ladies of history. What done remarkable things. But every remarkable thing we done, we done without the aid of a husband or a man. <gasps> without the aid of a man? Yes. But how? Because we are sisters. Sisters? Wait, wait, wait a minute, please. Sorry. <laughs> Doing it for ourselves. <laughs> right. So, uh, so who, who are you all, if you don't mind my asking? Who are you, for example, in your hoop frock and your crinoline crinolines? I am Jane Austen, as it happens. The well-known lady novelist. Hello, Jane Austen. Hello. And I am Emily Dickinson, if you want to know. Emily Dickinson, sons? Yes. And who are you, my I ask? I am Amelia Earhart. Hello, Amelia Earhart. <laughs> Hello. Hello. And and I know who you are, for you are Florence Nightingale. Yes, I am, Tracy. Florence Nightingale, the lady and the tramp. Really? <laughs> lamp, pardon? Lamp. And hundreds and hundreds of other well-known ladies, too numerous to mention, including Joan of Arc. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Frida Kahlo. Hello. Hello, Frida. Hello. The Bronte sisters. Hello. 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 <laughs> Edith Piaf. <laughs> yeah, 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 thank, thank you, Edith. Thank, yeah, thank, thank, thank you, Edith. Thank you. I had no idea there was such an almighty sisterhood. Well, there is, Tracy. And you... Yes? ...are one of us. Me? Why, thank you. But wait a minute. Yes? Why me? Because you are an artist. It's the whole reason you was born, Tracy Emin. It is your very purpose. Not to go chucking it all out the window. Right. <laughs> or chucking yourself out the window more to the point. Get what I'm saying? Yes. Because art is your destiny. And now you must... Fulfill it. But how, Lady Jane Austen and all you other ladies? How? By creating a new and mighty work, or oeuvre, 
that expresses yourself as you are, warts and all. Yes, that's precisely what I want to do. And so you shall, Tracy. I keep thinking and thinking and I can't think of nothing. Do not think, Tracy. Feel. Feel? Feel what, though? Feel with your heart. My heart? Yes. But I do not know where my heart is no more. Home is where the heart is. <laughs> what? Goodbye, Tracy Emin. No, no, do not leave me, my ladies. Now we go to help other struggling ladies. But, but... Uh, goodbye. Oh, goodbye, Lady Jane Austen. Goodbye, Edith P.F. Goodbye, Lady in the Tramp. Goodbye, Joanna Lumley. <laughs> she say again? Home is where the heart is? What can she mean? There's nothing in my home no more. I chucked it all out the window. There's nothing here. Nothing except... <gasps> wait, wait a minute. Well, who'd have thought? Hello, Charles Sarches and the Sarches speaking. Hello, is that Charles Sarches Starches? Yes, I just said, didn't I? Oh, hello, Charlie Arty Farty Starchy. It is I, Tracy Bernadette Wollstonecraft Emin. <laughs> and I think I have the artwork you're looking for. Well, that is good news. What's it called precisely? A work of art in Thailand. My bed. Good heavens. You mean a painting of your bed? No, not a painting, but my actual very own bed. Your actual very own bed? Good heavens, Tracy Emin. This is going to rock the whole art world to its foundations. And no mistake. Or to put it another way, this is going to be a sensation. <laughs> How can I ever thank you, Tracy don't thank me, Charlene, my darling. Thank Jane Austen and the ladies. Yeah.